Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Today's story is called Joshua, the New Leader, and it's taken from Deuteronomy chapters 31 to 34. And after the story, if you read Deuteronomy chapters 31 to 34, you will get the whole story and you can discuss it with others. The reference text is taken from Deuteronomy 31, 8. The Lord himself will go before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forget you. Don't be afraid. Don't worry. Now on to the story. Moses was 120 years old. Even though he was 120 years old, his eyesight was sharp. He was strong as a young man, and he could have gone on for many more days. But he disobeyed God, and as a result of that, God told him that he would not see the promised land. So Moses addressed the people and told them, I am 120. But the Lord told me, I cannot see the promised land. But don't be afraid. You have a new leader here. You have Joshua. And he will lead you across. God, just as how God was with me, he will also be with you. And once you are faithful to him, he will take care of you. After that, Joshua uh, was blessed by Moses, and Moses continued to speak with the people, telling them that Joshua would be a good leader for them. After Moses was finished with the people, he went to write the laws, because he knew the people would forget. So he wrote law after law, and when he was finished, he gave them to the priests. After a while, God spoke with Moses. He said, Moses, I need you and Joshua to come to see me. Because soon you will be dead. And I need to let you guys know what's going on. So Moses and Joshua went to the tent and God came down in a cloud so he can speak with them. God told Moses, after you are gone, the people will be disobedient. They will not. They are not going to remember me anymore. They are going to follow false gods. And they are going to do a whole set of things that I will have to turn my back upon them. So please, please write this song for them. This song will remind them that they need to follow me. They need to obey me. Because if they don't, they much harm will happen to them. So Moses wrote the song and he gave it to them and they sang. The song also praised God. It also told them that if they left him, that he was merciful and he would save them. And after that, Moses blessed them and it was time to go to the mountain to meet God. God told them to go to Mount Nebo. And God said, because you sinned against me, I will not allow you to go into the promised land. But I wanted to show you the land that I promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he showed everything around. And Moses could see land as far as his eyes. He saw Jericho. He saw Canaan and all the other land. And after that, Moses died. And God buried him, and the children of Israel, they mourned for 30 days. Now, there's a few points to remember. Obedience to God is very important. When he says something, he means it, and we should listen to him. At times, your leader or my leader may leave, but you should not fear. Yes, at times people leave us in different capacities and we wonder what's going to happen. But if we allow God to guide us, he will take care of you. God will guide you if you allow him to. 
And God can bless you the same way he blessed Moses. Moses and God were very close. And God forgave Moses. But there were consequences. And it's the same way with us. God forgives us. But at times, there are also consequences. So let us remember to be obedient. Now, if I were to say the story in rhyme, it would go something like this. Joshua will now be in charge for the duration. Moses announced this to the congregation. He told them he would not be able to take them to the promised land. So there were many things he wanted them to understand. He cautioned them to treat God with awe and told them to place importance upon his law. When he was finished, he then walked away. And they did not see him after that day. All right, are you ready? What is the answer? Question number one, why couldn't Moses go to the promised land? A, <coughs> excuse me, A, he was too old. B, he disobeyed God. C, he had to return to Egypt for others. Or D, it was time for a younger and stronger leader. What is the answer? And the correct answer is B. If you said that, you are correct. Question number two. How old was Moses when he died? A, no one knows. B, 80 years. C, 110 years, or D, 120 years. What is the answer? Did you say D? If you did, that is the answer. 120 years, you are correct. Question number three. In this story, what did God ask Moses to write and teach to the people? A, a speech. B, the Ten Commandments. C, a song. Or D, a map to the promised land. What is the answer? What's the answer? If you said C, you are correct. It is a song. And question number four, where did God tell Moses to go so he could see the promised land? A, Mount Hero, B, Mount Nero, C, Mount Nebo, or was it D, Mount Nico? What is the answer? Did you get it? Did you get it? Yes, if you said C, Mount Nebo, that is the answer. Thank you for taking the quiz today. Now let us bow our heads, let's close our eyes, and let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are thankful that you are a merciful God. Help us to realize that it is important to seek and obey. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching Uncle C's Bible Lessons. And if you want to contact me, my email address is UncleCBibleLessons at gmail.com. That's UncleCBibleLessons at gmail.com. But please receive your parents' permission before writing. I appreciate you listening to the story of Moses and Joshua with me. I hope you enjoyed it totally. I will appreciate it if you do one thing before you leave there. Kindly subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. All right. Well, that is it for now. Thank you again for joining me. And as you go through the week, always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye for now.